In this video, we will be adding images to our HTML5 canvas. We've done a few videos already on the canvas element in HTML5. So in the previous videos, we added rectangles, circles, and text to the canvas. And I will add links to those videos in the description below. But in this video, we will be adding images using the canvas API. So we'll start by doing this without adding any markup to our HTML. So I'm gonna add a piece of JavaScript here just to load a new image. So you've probably seen this before, but we can create an image from JavaScript without having any source code for that image on the page. So we do that by creating a new image, and then we set the source of that image using the variable name. So let's do that now. And then we will pass the path to that image in our file directory. So I have a image called ghost, and that's a PNG file. And that's in the same directory as this HTML file. And then we'll call the dot on load method. So this allows us to preload the image before we execute some code. So once this image has been loaded, then we will run this anonymous function. I'm gonna paste some instructions here on screen. So we're gonna call a method that is on top of the canvas uh, context. So we've got this variable layout. So I'm going to write layout.drawImage and this draw image method will allow us to place the image on the canvas. So we have this image already loaded above using the image.source and we basically want to add that image within this method. So we'll pass the image variable into the method and you can see here that the additional parameters that come afterwards is for sx, sy and that means the source image that we are loading. So the source image x and y coordinates followed by the width and height of that source image. So these are optional, these four values here. So if we want to display the whole image, we want to use the last four parameters here that gets passed in. So this method will understand what parameters you're passing based on the number of parameters that you pass in. So the last four parameters are very similar to the first four after the image. So it's the destination image x and y coordinates along with the width and height of that destination image. So you can think of that as the image that we're drawing on the canvas. And in this case, we just want to set the coordinates of where we are placing this image on the canvas and the width and height of that image that we want to display. So the first source parameters, you can think of those as being used for cropping an image. So maybe you only want to select part of an image and that's what you would use those first uh, four parameters for, for the source image. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully I'm not confusing this too much, but we can literally get away with just adding two parameters here along with the image. So these numbers are the coordinates from the left and from the top. So from the X and Y on the canvas. So we've placed this 100 pixels in both directions. And you can see here that the image hasn't been changed in any way. It's displaying the full image. We haven't modified the size or anything. And if you look at the source code, you will not see any reference to the image on the page. So that's embedded within the canvas. So what we can do is change the size of this image. So let's add two additional numbers here to the end of this method. So that will be the D width and the D height. So this controls the size of what's displayed on the canvas for this image. So we've updated that to 50 pixels in width and height. And now we'll change the dx and dy values. So that's the coordinates on the x and y of the canvas. And we'll make our image a little bit smaller. So we're trying to center align this on the canvas. So now we have it in the center of the canvas and we've made it really small. So we have used JavaScript to load our image. And once that image has finished loading, then we add it to the canvas using the canvas API. But let's look at a second way that we could have done this. And honestly, I think the first way is much better, but I just wanna show you an alternative approach that you can use if you have the image embedded on your page already. So let's remove this preloading of the image. And now I will add the image to the body of the page. So this is just a demonstration to show you what you can do if you already have the image on the page. So 
We'll load the same image and we'll add an ID just to make it easy for us to select this image. So now that we have an image as part of our markup, we can grab that image using document.getElementById. And once we have the image, we simply pass it in in the same way we did before. So this getElementById will just grab that image and we don't need to preload a new image and run the onload event handler. So this way just simply takes the existing image, pastes it into the canvas. But of course, if you don't have the image on the page markup already, the JavaScript approach is probably much better for you. Um, just to finish this off, you could simply remove that element from the DOM if you didn't need it. So you can do that simply calling the image.remove and that will clean up our HTML. So this is just an example because I know that every scenario is different for you guys. But overall, the best approach is to use JavaScript to load the images. That way we have a very clean markup on our page. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I will see you all in the next one.